Hello and welcome to the Boomer RC IntelliMatch instructional demo. Here we have two types. We have the IntelliMatch 2.2, which can be used to pair two servos together in groups of two, uh, commonly used for elevator. And then here we have the IntelliMatch 1.4, which can be used to group one group of four servos. So this would be used on your rudder or on a large scale aileron. Okay, so here we're talking about the IntelliMatch 2.2, which is used to group two lots of two servos together. Now starting from the bottom, you have your output A1, output A2, output B1, and output B2. So your output A1 and your output B1, they're your two master servos, one for each side. Then underneath those, you can see you've got your output A2 and your output B2, which are your two uh, match servos or your slave servos. Now moving up to the top here, we've got your dedicated battery input, you've got your input A and your input B, which are your two receiver inputs, and then you've got your arming plug and your second battery. Now the interesting thing about all these four terminals is that they can all be used uh, for power or a separate battery, which will deliver enough power to all four servos no matter what size of the model. So here we have the IntelliMatch 2.2 and we're just going to run through a quick instructional video on how to set it up for the first time in your aircraft. So here we have an input from a receiver or power bus module and we're just going to plug that into input A or input 1. Now here we have a master servo from a elevator or any other two setting and we're just going to plug that into output A1. So now that we've got power in our system, we've got our input 1 and our master servo 1 plugged into output A1, we have to set the maximum throw rates for that servo. Now once this has been done, get your slave servo for that side and just plug it into the one underneath which is the slave for that side. You can hear the servos binding because they're not matched up yet. Now we get an arming plug, we plug it into the arming battery at the top there we are. and then if we, get those, we just hit the simple A button once, you can see a blue LED now the elevator will go to its maximum throw range and you can hear the servos binding and then stopping. So that's the master servo setting each degree and then the slave servo being matched to it. And as you can hear, the buzz starts and then for each range of movement, it stops. Giving you the perfect matching between the servos. It will continue to do this through the entire range of motion for the, that you've set for the elevator. Now as you may have noticed, not all the setting time is the same. That's because the servos aren't the same. If it finds a perfect point quicker, then it will set it to that point and there'll be no bugs. If it takes a little bit longer, it'll still find the perfect point. And we're just reaching the end of our set throws now. Now it will travel through the full range of motion, back to centre, and then the elevator will shut off. Now that the matching sequence is finished, all we have to do is take out the arming plug and cycle the power. Now this can be done through your master switch but for ease of purpose I'm just going to do this by pulling out the input 1 switch and plugging it back in. 
As you can hear, the servos are now on. And if I stand them up, there is very minimal buzz. And I'll just show you a range of motion with the elevator. Now, for each small increment, there's very, very small amounts of binding between the servers. So that's just a quick summary and overview video of the IntelliMatch system and a brief introduction on how to set it up. So a couple of the benefits with the IntelliMatch system, we've got your IntelliMatch 2.2 which is used to group two groups of two servos and then we've got the IntelliMatch 1.4 which is used to group one group of four servos together. The benefits of, this, of using this system in your model aircraft is that you'll get longevity out of your servos, you'll get an increased battery life for flights and you'll get an increased power on your surfaces because your servos won't be fighting each other. Now while I've got you here, these can be used in conjunction with Advanced Radio's Power Bus 1232 and Advanced Radio's Power Bus 824. Now the 1232 can be used as 12 channel in and 32 channels out and the Power Bus 824 is 8 channels in and 24 out. These can be used in conjunction with each other and they'll make a perfect combination for any model aircraft or scale aircraft.